Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. Matic is dancing currently on that 61.8 retracement level. Really, really boring here still. Consolidating big sideways mess here. We are caught in the micro mess, you could say, and there is nothing for me to do. I can't, I can't make the market go up, okay? It's just literally just tracking the structures and watching for a first signal that a low could be in at the moment. I can't confirm it yet. Okay, so we're still dealing with the situation in which the market rallied in a possible five wave structure into the December highs. And then here, this is a WXY structure at the moment. And in the Y, we are dealing with this ABC. Okay, and the um, C wave is likely a five wave move. That's sort of what we're watching for at the moment. And this um, C wave could be done, okay, could be ma maybe one more low, that's not very clear. I mean, there's a bit of ambiguity whenever we have these strong sell-offs because sometimes the last 4-5 pattern can be caught in the large candle at the same time. However, if that's the case, I would really have liked to see a strong reaction. I mean, there was a quite a decent reaction from that low that was formed here around 60 cents, 59 cents on the... 10th of uh, sorry the 13th of April but it was just corrective okay it wasn't really in any way significant nothing nothing major there no major reaction and that is just unfortunately not really a good indication that we've bottomed and I know it is repetitive but what can I do you know it's like um, if you add a trend line here it actually looks a bit like a bearish flag that's forming here or actually um, an ascending wedge pattern we can simply change the trend lines to a wedge pattern and that typically would break to the downside. Now I've seen them break to the upside often enough and the Elliott wave pattern for that would be a diagonal, all right, a leading diagonal. But again, you see it, I've labeled it as a, with a question mark, have we bottomed already? Definitely the potential is there. Can I confirm it? Not without additional signals or not without the market giving us something to work with because at the moment, <laughs> You know, we have come down, yeah, deep into support and ideally it is turning around, but it would like, you know, it would be a guess for me to say that we've bottomed. Can't guess here. You know, this is all, <clears throat> this is all based on guidelines, rules, and um, we have to see certain patterns based on FIB levels, Elliott waves to give us an idea or to identify uh, a low in place, okay? Oh, that's just an assessment of price action, really. These overlapping... These overlapping waves, they typically indicate one more low or trend trend continuation to the downside at least because the bears are still, the bears are selling into the rallies. The bulls seem to be a little bit stronger given that we are moving up, okay, in this upward sloping channel. But oftentimes if the bulls can't generate that upside momentum, then it's going to give us another low. And that's precisely what we see here, this sort of bearish flag, right? Um yeah, so that's what we're watching. Um, you could say that could also be an ascending wedge or a, or a diagonal pattern, whatever. Either way, we're caught in sideways micro mess. Clearly not, or not a clear uptrend, you could say. So what do I need to see to be more comfortable to say that we've bottomed here in this wave too? And until I am more comfortable to confirm that the risk for one more low is very, very high. Yeah. So I need to see a break above that last swing high here from the 6th of May. So this swing high is 78 cents that needs to be taken out and that would send us higher than in wave C of three. And then we would get probably another four or five pattern and that would be a diagonal pattern. Then once we get these five waves and I need to see five waves that reach 92, 93 cents at least, well, then we can say that the low is probably in. Okay, I need these five waves. However, I would already be more comfortable should we get a break to the upside of the wedge. But then we need to see, is it a sustained break? And that will be, well, not guaranteed, but if we then see another 4-5 pattern, we can call that a sustained break because the wave 4 would basically, there's a potential that this fourth wave that you can see on the chart in white might retest the trend line from above. And then when we see that like a breakout and we are, we're testing those levels from above, well, that gives us an additional indication. Typically, when, when really the third wave rallies from here, it should reach 87.4 cents. What we know then is that a fourth wave pullback would usually target the 100% extension. That's at 79.7 cents. And then the fifth wave would reach to 1.618 or maybe even higher. So that's sort of the ideal pattern. If we get another low, it's 58.2 cents, which is the next 
micro support or let's say the next support level. Below that, I really only have the 88.7 FIP level, too low to be reliable for a wave two. It's at 53.7 cents. You know, it's it's either holding this or not, you know, and uh, then this is obviously, um, normally I call the 78.6 FIP level the last reliable support. There are other support levels below that which are acting as a buffer, like the 88.7 FIP level. I normally don't use it, but it could be needed as a buffer here. Bear in mind, we don't have an invalidation until we break below the red line, which is highlighting here, invalidation point, right? And that is at 49, let's say 49.2 cents. So we have to remain patient. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.